Hey folks, it's Grimlet from NatGevil.com, and, uh, well, this is for a friend of mine, Loki. And if you're wondering how I keep getting these video games, it's because she keeps giving them to me. Anyway, for my birthday, she gave me nine video games, and that is the sweetest thing anybody's done, considering I only asked for one, and I gave her, like, a choice of three, and this was one of them. So, I am dedicating this Let's Play to Loki. I have not played this at all. We're doing a blind run of this until we win or something, I don't know. But I saw this and fell in love with the game anyway. How can I not? I mean, look, there's, there's David Mitch Marshall, right? I mean, uh, Taxi Smith right there. Um, options. Looks pretty clear. Play. I have two fists. <laughs> Male, female, I don't know. Uh, F to read. Also, it looks like it's got, uh, well, you know what? I have my gamepad plugged in. Let's, let's see. Oh, this, this mighty sucks. Um, no, no, we're not using the gamepad. That's wonky feeling. It's just wonky feeling. Oh, I just noticed the map up there, too. Let's see. What's going on in here? Oh, okay. Um, of course, since I'm so good at narrating that I'm stopping a podcast due to it, uh, I guess I'll read this out loud to you guys. This is some... what? Uh... Item number 9713, J.P. Pippin, or J.K. Pippin. Uh, item number 5576, Kim Putnam. Huh. We're in the 20s as well. Uh, looks like it's after Whirlsend. Here's a mirror. Oh. Oh. Oh, good lord. Ah, this mirror allows me to change the way that I look. And look, I can have boobs. And a sexy black fro. Okay. Yeah, we're doing that. I do not want to look like Tomb Raider. Yeah, okay, I like that. There we go, man. We are hot looking. I really dig this style of graphics here, and it looks good. Let's read this. Explorer Journal number two, page two. Number page two. This library seems to go on forever. I am no longer certain that there is a way out. It feels as if I'm somehow reliving the same experience day after day day after day, endlessly. God, I'm tripping over my words. I'm terribly sorry. I'm, this is an insomnia thing. I'm, I've gotten worse at speaking. I'm sorry. If I am to find an exit from this madness, I believe it will be through these obscene glowing books. They're obscene. Ooh, sexy. I love obscene books. There is unimaginable power in those pages, and unspeakable horror. It seems that the spirits of ancient deities lie dormant within these books. The books, sorry. Though, I can't apologize enough, I'm sorry. Though I know not for what reason, but their collected powers must be the key to my incarceration in this labyrinth. Okay, no more apologies. If you made it this far into the video and hasn't sh haven't shut it off due to my sheer ineptitude, then it's your own fault. What are these over here? Sparkly books. Can I run? Oh, thank God, I can run. Okay. Ham. <laughs> bottle. Another bottle. This is the only library I've seen with gigantic chunks of ham? Well, I'm here. I might as well serve the meat and stuff. How's everybody doing? Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, well, that kind of answers that. Uh, that, that took me by surprise. Let's just pick it up. Weapons and objects. Okay, press this button to throw a punch. Now you tell me. Curl a projectile, or fire a weapon. Press the Z button to drop an object in your right hand. You can carry two weapons or objects at a time.
press X or up or down to swap between them. That's funky. Let's see. I have nothing and now I have something. Okay. Alright, I'm apparently some kind of bar, you know, fist punching, beer swilling idiot. Take that, ham! Is, uh, is the ham a weapon? Eating food will restore some of your health. Be careful. Eating spoiled or poisonous food may harm you instead. I got a heart for that. Hmm. Wow. I'll have to look up there in a second. First, I gotta check all the nooks and crannies. Well, let's see here. The History of the Library, Volume 3 of 4. In the early 20th century, when the Old Ones threatened Earth for the second time, the Guardians recom reconvened in New England to perform the ritual of binding once again. A modest library was chosen to host the rite, and the Guardians elected one, am one among them, the Librarian to remain at the prison and protect it from further disturbance. We need to find, uh, Volume 1. Maybe that's what these books are over here. Hmm. Let's start with this one. Jumping. Press space to jump. Press and hold while jumping towards a ledge to grab and pull yourself up. Oh, so like, uh... Oh, cool. I can do that with my feet, too. Artifact. Pick up. These are extraterrestrial stone carvings. Oh, these extraterrestrial stone carvings are your main resource in the world. You can purchase goods with them or spend them to activate special powers and tools. Yeah, I like that noise. Alright, I can jump. I can jump nine times. Let's see. Uh, it says I have two of those blue stones. Can I crouch? Okay, it's not space. It's it's not control. Is it space? No, it's not space. <laughs> I mentioned I was tired. Can I reach down? Come on. All right. What's this one say? Sprinting. Press the left shift to sprint. While sprinting, crouch C to execute a power slide. Power slide. Ah. Okay, we, we've we've got to do something about that right now. Controls. Uh, key bindings. Back. Back. Resume. If I have a, uh, if I have a weapon, I'm pretty sure a scroll will also take care of that weapon for me. So let's grab that. Yep, scroll button does just fine with that. Okay, so try this out. Control this crouch. There we are. And there we are. Oh, I found a little flaw in my... No, I can still do it. I'm basically using my pinky to hold down the lit the the shift key and then bending it to hit the crouch key. Awesome. And what's this one? Leaning. Yeah, well, okay. Ooh, I'm leaning. Stick and move, stick and move. Controls. If the default controls, yeah, I figured all this out. Don't you love tutorials? Okay, what's left? Um, we've seen that book. We've seen that book, which is very mysterious. I'll have to look into that. And these strange books, I'm sure, are important elsewhere. Bank chest. You can deposit your artifacts in the bank chest for safekeeping. Artifacts you deposit here can be withdrawn later at this or any other chest. When you die, and you will die, your possessions will be lost. But the artifacts stored in the bank 
will remain. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Might come in handy later on. Hey, a new book. The History of the Labyrinth, Volume 2 of 4. Thousands of years passed, and the old ones slumbered in their prison. In the late 19th century, archaeologists in Arabia unearthed the site where the binding ritual had been invoked. The disturbance ripped through the fabric of the cosmos and awoke the, ancients, the ancient beings. Forgotten horror spilled forth and the earth was again in peril. I like peril. another one. Wait, was that a fruit? Oh, it was just a fruit tree hanging there. That's cool. History of the Library, Volume 3 of 4. Wait, I've already read this one. Yeah, I've already read this one. I've read 2 and 3. How about this one over here? Ah, here we go. History of the Library, Volume 1 of 4. Legends tell of a, catastroph uh, a catastrophic event thousands of years ago when Earth fell to the wrath of the Old Ones. The few survivors discovered an ancient rite which they used to seal the dreadful beings in a labyrinthian prison. Life on Earth once again flourished, and the survivors formed a convent of guardians to protect the secret ritual of binding. Why protect the secret ritual? Why not tell everybody about the secret ritual? And then everybody could perform the secret ritual. To bind him. Unless it's also an unbinding ritual. Oh, we've already read this one. Where's volume four? Is it up here? Maybe we're in volume four. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Okay. There's other things. This is the least friendly uh, <laughs> library I've ever been in. But I gotta admit, it's the most coolest. Uh, here we go, volume four. At a small library in New England, the Guardians performed an arcane ritual of binding to imprison the Old Ones. The Librarian, a singular Guardian chosen to protect the site, was locked away with the terrible beings. But unbeknownst to the other Guardians, an erect word errant, sorry, an errant word spoken during the ritual shattered the librarian's mind and memories. Huh. This library kind of goes on for a while. Uh, we've already read that. They got a lot of copies of this book. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just climb up here. Uh, hello? Oh, there. That was weird. Nothing over here. There's a couple of tables over here. I see another book. Is there something different? No? Hmm. Well, at least I found the top. No? I can't climb up there. So far, I'm digging the Lovecraftian atmosphere. Uh, anybody who, who knows me knows that I'm a huge fan of Lovecraft. Uh, I haven't read all of his works. I saved them. But I've read a lot of his works, and I'm a huge fan, if you haven't guessed already, of the HP Podcraft uh, literary podcast, which right now is not talking about HP Lovecraft because they had finished. Well, you know, this is a good starting video, I think, and uh, in case you haven't noticed, um, this doesn't have any music. There, there's no music. Uh, it's been silent all this time. I've been interjecting music from Incompetech.com. That's uh, Kevin McLeod, who I always go to. Goodbye, cruel world, and uh, I'll see you guys next video on Let's Play Eldritch. Ah! Death. When your health... Really? There's a tutorial on my death? This truly is horrific.
You will die. After death, you will be resurrected in the library. Oh, good. And your possessions will be lost. <laughs> I think we, we all know what's going on here. See you guys later. <laughs>